Hi, I'm Goha Vardanyan, and I'm here with another etude for the Guitar Etude series. This time it's etude number 17 from Estudio Sencillos by Leo Brower. As you probably guessed, and as the title suggests, this etude is all about ornaments. And I really like it not only because it's just really beautiful, but because he essentially uses the same material which he gives in the first two measures. And then he just starts ornamenting different notes in that same pattern. with some changes obviously so the reason I like that it's usually when you learn a piece and you've probably heard this before um, that when you learn a piece with ornaments the best thing to do is just take out all the ornaments completely ignore them and learn the piece just as it is just the pure skeleton of it without any embellishments that way you can really learn um, what you're supposed to play so if the ornaments weren't there the rhythm of the notes and which notes are more important um, you learn that first and then you go back and you add the ornaments that way you won't allow the the rhythm to be distorted when you're playing the ornaments and also you won't be tempted to emphasize the wrong note because the ornament is usually a note that is not really supposed to be in the key um, and then it resolves to the principal note. So this way you really have a solid understanding of which notes are the main notes and which notes belong to the ornament. If you never take them out, sometimes you will get confused. In this case, that's exactly what he does. He gives you the main skeleton. So essentially, you're going to be doing this, and then you're just going to be ornamenting around certain notes. In the third measure, he ornaments the A by playing the A, going down to G, and then coming back to an A. Then he's going to ornament the E by playing the E, going up to an F, and coming back to an E. But the important note there is the E and not the F. Um, 
um, then it's going to ornament the D. Again, by playing the D down to C natural and then uh, up to D. And the D is the important one. Uh, with ornaments where they're longer, kind of trill-like, he starts on the upper note. This you'll probably encounter a lot in, uh, in Bach's music, in Baroque music, where you start on the upper note and then you resolve down to the principal one. So there are different kinds of ornaments all throughout the piece, but essentially it's the same theme you're playing. Um, some grace notes, some trills, etc. Now, when you do play these ornaments, especially in the first half um, where they're, lit they're written like ornaments with a tiny little font and then the big principal note, you need to decide whether you're going to put those notes on the beat or before the beat. And what I mean by that is, I have to turn on the metronome for this. When you play an ornament, for example, this um, A, G, A, you can choose to pluck the note with the beat and have the slur happen after the beat. So you could do something like this. Or you could anticipate the beat, start the, you actually plug before the beat and you land your final hammer on is what falls on the, on the uh, beat here. So you would have to anticipate the beat coming. And the other one would be... So isolated, they might sound very similar. Um, it's just the placement of them that, that that's different. And sometimes you could get away with either. In some cases, you have to really choose which one you're doing and they will sound different, especially if they're longer ornaments. Like for example here, because there's so many notes I'm playing in that ornament, if I do on the beat, then you're kind of shortening how much that principal note is going to ring before you play the next note. Or if I anticipated and I played before, you have to anticipate with enough time so you can finish all of those notes and then have the last note end up on the beat. And that's decisions that you will have to make as you're playing. In the second half, it's, it's more straightforward. It's really just a... built-in sort of the slurs, um, and anytime he does have the ornaments, um, those are written out, so you're just doubling the time and you're, you're ornamenting the... Um, instead of playing the C, D, you're ornamenting the C, D. Those you really don't have any choice in terms of how you're going to place them rhythmically because it is written out as part of the music and it tells you exactly where you're going to begin it and where you're going to end so not much freedom there but with the other ornaments um, i would suggest going through them and deciding which ones you're playing when what i did was um, when i was playing the first one the the first ornament on a i was anticipating the beat and i was playing this be beforehand with it, I end up playing the first note on the beat and then having the slur, the hammer on and the pull off happen after the beat because I wouldn't really want to do something something like this where I anticipate this, I slur and then I play the bass separately on the beat that would sound a little bit um, awkward um, so I end up playing the first note on the beat and most others I end up anticipating um, the slur ahead of time and landing on the beat afterwards. So even though this seems pretty simple, you will find yourself working on it a lot to really clear out the slurs. Um, at least I found that to be true. So I wish you luck for this week to work on this etude and I will see you next Monday with another one. Thank you so much for watching.